Hi everyone, let us discuss extension of Cauchy's integral formula. Okay, Cauchy's integral formula we have already seen. Let us discuss its extension now. So here we have a simple closed curve C. We have a function f which is analytic inside and on on a boundary of C. Getting there is one point z0 which lies in a interior of C. Then value of this integration is equal to 2 pi i upon n0 nth derivative of f at z0. Okay. So let us compare this statement with Cauchy's integral formula, right? So you can easily understand why we are calling it as extension of Cauchy's integral formula. See in our previous video, we have already seen Cauchy's integral formula. Let us recall the definition. The definition is integration over C, right? f of z upon z minus z naught dz is equal to 2 pi i f of z naught. Having a same condition, here also we must have some closed curve C, simple closed curve C. There should be a function f which is analytic inside and on closed curve C and z0 must be some point which lies in a interior of C. Then value of this integration is equal to 2 pi i f of z0. If you compare these two definitions, you can easily see what is the difference between them. Here we have z minus z0 raised to 1. Nothing is there. That means power will be 1. But here we have some power n plus 1. Getting So this is the only difference. And because of this power, we have some uh, changes here. Okay. In right hand side also. If I put n is equal to 0 here, we will have the same definition. If I put n is equal to 0, we will have the same equation here. Getting So this is the extension of Cauchy's integral formula. And when we have some power other than 1, that means it can be 2, can be 3, can be 4, get it? So then we go for extension of Cauchy's integral formula. Let us discuss one example so you can easily understand how to apply this extension of Cauchy's integral formula. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So let us discuss this example. Okay, so in this example, we have this integration uh, over closed curve C. C is a circle we have and we have to find its value. So let us call the given integral as i. So let me write it here. We have i is equal to i means given integration over c e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 raised to 4. So now uh, dz I should write. So now our main focus on a closed curve c. So let us find what is a c. So here, here c mod z minus 1 is equal to 3. So you know that this is equation of circle, right? So the what is the standard equation of circle mod z minus z naught is equal to r. So this is the standard equation of circle with center z naught and its radius is r. Okay. So yes, I should mention here this is a circle. Uh, so let us compare and find center and radius. So what will be its center? You can easily see we have a z0 here and we have 1 here. That means center is 1. 1 that means real part is 1 and imaginary part is 0. So that's why I should write center 1 comma 0. So let us talk about radius now. So here if you compare r is equal to 3 we have so radius is 3. So let us draw one rough sketch of that uh, closed curve C and then we will go further. Okay. So I am drawing that circle here. This is real axis. And this one is imaginary axis, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. What is the center of this circle? 1, comma 0. So here we have a center of circle having radius 3. I should go 3 on that side, 3 on this side, and 3 here, 3 here. So we will have a circle like this, okay? Actually, I'm drawing a rough sketch, so I hope you can understand. Yes, so this is the circle we have. Okay, I have drawn a circle here. So see that part is not required. Let me remove and then we will go further. Okay, so now whatever the function we have, we call it as a capital F of Z. Okay, so what we have here, here, our capital F of Z, our function is e raised to 2Z, e raised to 2Z by z plus 1 raised to 4. So now we have to find a point where the function is not analytic. That means a point where denominator will be 0. You can easily see if I put z is equal to minus 1, denominator will be 0. So z is equal to minus 1, it is a point where function is not analytic. So let me mention here, here, capital F of z is not analytic. 
नॉट एनालिटिक एट जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट पॉइंट लाइज इन साइड अ सर्कल और आउटसाइड अ सर्कल लेट एस फाइंड जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन दैट पॉइंट विल बी हियर सो क्लियरली दैट पॉइंट लाइज इन साइड अ सर्कल सो लेट मी मेन्शन हियर दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट लाइज इन साइड सी ओके दिस पॉइंट लाइज इन साइड सी सो देर फॉर नाउ आई कंसिडर स्मॉल एफ ऑफ जेड ओके स्मॉल एफ ऑफ जेड विल बी ई रेस टू टू जेड ओके सो वॉट एवर द न्यूमरेटर वी हैव नॉर्मली वी कंसिडर इट इज अ स्मॉल एफ ऑफ जेड सो स्मॉल एफ ऑफ जेड इज ई रेस टू टू जेड सो यू नो दैट एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज एनालिटिक सो देर फॉर क्लियरली वी कैन मेन्शन दिय स्मॉल एफ ऑफ जेड इज एनालिटिक इन साइड एंड ऑन क्लोज कर सी सो लेट मी मेन्शन हियर क्लियरली क्लियरली small f is analytic is analytic inside and on closed curve c okay so this is a condition uh, which is required to apply extension of cauchy's integral formula okay so yes now we can apply extension of cauchy's integral formula then then let me mention by extension of cauchy's integral formula extension of cauchy's integral formula okay yes so integration over c uh, what we have e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 raised to 4 right yes dz is equal to integration over c this is our small f of z small f of z upon z plus 1 raised to 4 dz okay so let me write a statement of cauchy's integral formula somewhere so you can easily compare and apply okay so i am writing a statement here yes here i will write so integration over c f of z upon z minus z not rest to n plus 1 dz is equal to 2 pi i upon n factorial nth derivative of f at z not this is a statement of cauchy's integral formula that we have to apply here so over z not you can easily compare this bracket with this one actually we want minus sign we don't have minus sign here so minus minus is plus so therefore here we should have z minus minus 1 that means our z not is minus 1 so by applying this extension of cauchy's integral formula we can write 2 pi i divided by n factorial now the question is what is n so here we have a uh, bracket raised to n plus 1 and what we have bracket raised to 4 That means n plus one is equal to four. That means n is obviously three. So I'm putting n is equal to three everywhere. Three factorial, right? Third derivative of f at z not. Our z not. Uh, what is our z not? Minus one, as I told you earlier. So this is equal to two pi i. Three factorial means you know that three into two into one. Third derivative of f at minus one. So two two will get cancelled, and what will we have? Pi i by three. third derivative of f at minus 1 let me call it as 1 we cannot find its value directly since we want third derivative here what will i do first of all we will find third derivative of f after that we will put z is equal to minus 1 there so we will have its value and let us put it back in equation 1 so that's we will have the final answer of this integration okay so let me remove this part so we'll have some more space to write okay so let us find what is our small f of z now our small f of z is e raised to 2z its derivative derivative of exponential function is same e raised to 2z and derivative of 2z is 2 again double derivative of f okay so 2 as it is derivative of e raised to 2z is e raised to 2z into 2 getting so that 2 into 2 4 we will have and what will be the third derivative so it will be uh, 4 as it is Uh, derivative of e raised to 2z is e raised to 2z again derivative of 2z is 2 that 2 into this 4 that means we'll have 8 e raised to 2z so f triple dash of minus 1 since we want f triple dash of minus 1 here so simply put uh, z is equal to minus 1 so we we'll have e raised to minus 2 so you know that if i shift that term to the denominator then power will be positive so it will be 8 by e square so let us put its value in equation 1 then One becomes. Let me write. Then one becomes integration over c e raised to two z. I am writing the same integration again. Z plus one raised to four 
dz is equal to pi i by 3 right into this 8 by e square so it will be 8 pi i by 3 e square so this is a required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye